we have some dynamic sponsors who powered Kingston 2021, and it is always a pleasure to hear from them. Hello, friends. My name is Dean, and I'm here to give you a quick preview of some of TV Paint's animation tools. TV Paint is a bitmap animation software developed by a French company. It is available on Windows, Mac OS, Linux, and also Android. The Android version is free, by the way. Its goal is to allow users to produce animation that looks like it was made on paper, except they made it using faster tools on a computer, saving a lot of time and also a lot of paper. TV Paint is available in two editions, Standard and Professional. The Standard Edition contains everything you need to produce 2D animation, but the Pro Edition has some cool additional features, which we will discover at the end of this demo. TV Paint licenses are a one-time purchase with free tech support by people with an atrocious French accent just like me. Also, we have big discounts for students and teachers, and more information on our website, tvpaint.com. Now on to the demo. Let's start this quick TV Paint demo by going into the main panel. From here, you can access all the basic drawing tools you need, which are present in most bitmap-based drawing software, I think. So, from freehand drawing, lines, to filled shapes, to curves, a good old paint bucket, selections and various transformations, etc. The main way to select a color for your brush is by using the color wheel. There are also a couple other ways, such as the color mixer or uh, palettes. You can create your own palette, uh, of course, uh, from your la last used colors, for example, or uh, from the colors of an image. In the tool panel, you have access to 10 brush tip archetypes, which can be customized uh, thanks to a variety of parameters. But if you want to go into real deep uh, brush customization shenanigans, you have to use the Swiss Army knife, which is, leads you excuse me, to a custom brush archetype. I'm going to select a brush from this uh, default brush panel. All of these were made using a TV Paint's post customization system, by the way. Here we have an acrylic paintbrush, which is also pressure sensitive for uh, classic stuff, you know. Brush customization in TV Paint goes from simple things such as uh, giving a set uh, value to your brush tip size to uh, more complex things such as creating a connection between an external factor uh, and the value in the parameters of your brush. So, as I mentioned earlier, there is a, a connection between the pen pressure and the opacity of the brush. But we can also link opacity to speed. So here, I'm at maximum pressure on my stylus, but if I draw slowly, opacity will be low. And if I start spinning around like a maniac, it will become a bit more visible. One of my favorite things regarding brush customizations uh, in TV Paint is the paper system. It's enabled using this little icon here, and the right click opens the paper menu. This menu allows you to choose a texture for your brush, which is applied in real time, and um, you don't need to go through uh, several layers of uh, customization settings and then uh, apply your change your changes etc so you can try out a variety of different looks for your brush until you found the perfect one like the t paint logo texture this one really goes with any kind of artistic project so this is my personal recommendation for you please use it in all of your projects it's so beautiful so pure but the real starting point of creating a custom brush is to have a good-looking brush tip. In TV Paint, we have a tool 
uh, which allows you to take a part of your image and then use it as a brush tip. This is called the brush color. So here, I took my little hard drawing and started using it as a brush. You have access to the same parameters uh, as with other brushes. And then you can customize it to your liking. Give it a color. Add some step. Or less step. Add a texture. Add the T-Paint logo texture, etc. Once you're satisfied with your brush, the only thing you have to do is save it into a brush panel. So they can be saved into the default panels, but you can also create your own custom panel from the custom panel menu and then save your brush by using grab current tool or grab current tool with colors. So its colors are also saved. Then if you start using another tool and then come back to your tool, it will have the same parameters as before. Okay, so now let's take a look at the animation capabilities of TV Paint. I'm now going to show you what the basic animation workflow looks like in TV Paint. And for this, I'm going to need a simple exercise I can reproduce. How about a bouncing ball? I bet you never heard of this when you were at school, right? So here I'm drawing my first little drawing and then switching to the next drawing. The problem is I need to see my previous image if I want to draw correctly. So I'm going to enable the light table for this particular layer and then keep on drawing. The light table in TV Paint has a number of cool little features such as uh, being able to move around your previous drawings when using them as reference. And then when I'm satisfied with my animation, all I have to do is play it. Problem is, it's a bit too fast. So another thing I'm going to do is expand my instances. An instance in a tip and timeline is simply a block containing a drawing and the size of the instance will set for how much time the drawing is shown on the timeline and in the playback of the animation. By default, the size of an instance is one frame. Here, I'm going to make each one two, three, four frames So here is my animation. Since TV Paint is bitmap based, uh, it's sometimes necessary to redraw some stuff. And uh, of course, time is money. So in the case where you have to redraw uh, the same thing several times, there are um, some little uh, tricks that you can use, such as the behaviors. Okay, so animating stuff by hand is cool and all, but what if you have to reproduce some very repetitive animation steps uh, for your sequence and you don't have time for this? Also, copying and pasting stuff is not an option because even if it's possible in TV Paint and very easy, it's not the most fun thing to do. In TV Paint, we have uh, what is called uh, behaviors or layers. A layer's behavior is a simple set of instructions that are given to it and that will be executed 
when during the general playback of the animation, the cursor arrives at the end of the said layer. So here I have loaded an example clip to show you by uh, Paul Fierlinger, a veteran animator and TV paint user. So these two layers are for the character on the left, who is passing chunks of wood to the character on the right. So here you can see by clicking on this icon that the post behavior of the layer is set to loop, which means that during the general playback of the animation, as long as there is content to show in one layer, at least one layer, all the layers with their post behavior set to loop won't stop repeating themselves. This is why in this clip, the movement only had to be animated once, but the total duration of the clip is twice, twice as long. Another cool thing uh, regarding uh, avoiding to, to, to redraw um, things is the use you can make of custom brushes when animating. Not only to draw. So here you can see that I have this um, animation example by uh, TV Dubré, young uh, French animator. I'm going to use the brush cutting tool to create an animated brush of this character. This is done by uh, the same way and uh, when we selected a part of our image earlier to create a brush with it. The only difference is that at first you have to select at least two frames of animation. Here I selected 16 of them now I'm going to cut around my character. TV Paint is offering me to create an anim brush, to which I will answer positively. And then I have a brush which can be used to copy and paste different steps of my animation. Of course, I can change the way the images uh, in my brush uh, loop. So by default, it's a normal loop. I can also make them loop only once and then it stays on the same drawing. I can also make it random, which looks quite weird. I have a good example uh, of a cool use for an anim brush here in the default brush panel, TV Paint. So these, these uh, blades of grass, let's put them at a very high size so you can, you can show it. So this grass brush is actually an animated brush made of 20 blades of grass, which are displayed randomly. And so since their sides are linked to pressure, you can do like background and then a, a foreground. This is quite a time saver when you have to draw grass or, uh, or leaves and, and you don't have much time. Now let's talk about uh, colorization. But first I have to show you one last thing about animation. Uh, which is linked to working from scanned drawings. One of TV Paint's main goals is to allow the user to produce animation which looks like it was produced on paper, making them save paper. But what if you had an assignment for school that had to be made on paper and want to work with it uh, inside TV Paint? Because all those trees shouldn't die for nothing, right? Here is an animation of a bouncing ball, another one, that was scanned after being drawn on paper. You can see that it's not super stable, 
maybe because the paper sheets were misaligned uh, while scanning. So what I'm going to do is use the Peggle registration tool, which allows me to <clears throat> define a zone where the peg holes are, the little holes that we use to block the paper sheet onto the animation table and ensure that the holes never get out of the red squares and then apply my changes and you can see that my animation is now perfectly aligned. In this last sequence, which was obviously accelerated, real time was around uh, two and a half minutes. I am using the CTG layer available in the Pro Edition of TV Paint to apply color uh, super quickly on the little girl's hat. And I can also use the same layer to change the color and also to apply textures on certain color zones. So here I'm going to create a uh, texture for the blue zone, which is the hat, to give it a more um, lively look. So this is the final tool that I am demonstrating for you. By the way, I just learned that uh, Cartoon Saloon's uh, Wolf Walkers has won five awards. Pretty nice. TV Paint was used on this. Okay, so as a final eye candy for you, um, here is a little uh, reel of um, TV Paint projects made by uh, professionals, students, just people from the TV Paint community. I also want to thank them to, uh, for being here and creating brushes, scripts, and uh, giving us uh, new ideas for improving the software. And also a big thank you to Kingstoon for allowing us to participate in the, this edition for 2021. And also thanks to you for listening to me. Until next time, take it easy. Sponsors, and it is always a pleasure to hear from them. Thank you for tuning in and checking out the people who powered this 2021 virtual staging of the Kingston Animation Conference and Film Festival. We'd like to thank all our sponsors and those who participated to make this such a fun and inspiring event.